drugs, animal abuse, and violence against women and children. In the United States, it typically involves dogfighting and cockfighting. Dogfighting was outlawed in the United States in 1977, and in 2007, the federal government added to the law by forbidding and providing felony penalties for the transport of animals for fighting purposes. However, the sadistic activity continues. Over 250,000 pit bulls are directly maimed or killed each year from it. Pit bulls, the breed of choice for dog fighters, actually gets its name from the pit they fight in. They are bred and trained to fight each other for gambling and entertainment. Conditioning and training include the use of steroids and narcotic drugs to increase the animal's muscle mass and aggression. Young dogs are tested by having them fight other ones. Those that do not like to fight are killed. Stolen pets are used as bait dogs for these purposes. Starvation, isolation, and physical abuse are also methods. It is not unusual to find dogs with scarred necks as the result of being pulled behind cars to build stamina. Also, poison is sometimes put on their coats for cheating purposes and their ears and tails cut. Injuries at these events are severe and the dogs often die of blood loss, infection, execution, and dehydration. The losing dog is usually executed by hanging, drowning, or electrocution. This brutal sport was brought to light by the Michael Vick trial. Michael Vick, the NFL star, was ordered to serve 23 months for owning and operating Bad News Kennels on property he purchased for this purpose in Virginia. He and his trainers use suspended tires, treadmills, and stray animals for conditioning. He admitted to killing 80 dogs by drowning and hanging because they failed to show enough willingness to fight when tested against older dogs. Michael Vick stated that the first time he seen the sport was as a youth where he grew up. Street fighting is a major component of urban crime. It is believed that tens of thousands of people in the United States are involved in dogfighting and over 1,000 arrests have been made between 2003 and 2008. Money plays a significant role in the attraction of dogfighting, with more than $500,000 seized in major raids. Cockfighting is also cruel and lucrative. At an event to tighten cockfighting laws, representatives from the Humane Society of the United States revealed a video created by undercover investigators. It showed birds severely injured in battle only stopping when mortally wounded. These birds were then violently clubbed to death by their handlers as punishment. A press release from the United States Drug Enforcement Agency stated that cockfights and pit bull fights are used as a networking tool for drug traffickers and reported on their investigation called Operation Foul Play. Pedro Mendez Ramos and 17 others were indicted on drug trafficking, firearms charges, and money laundering. Ramos owned over 300 game cocks and 60 pit bulls. He utilized these illegal fighting events as a networking tool for recruitment and drug transport. What is being done to thwart animal fighting? In 2009,